So starting with leadership, a big topic um, at the moment, and I saw the Resilience Project, which for those that are on social media, if you're interested in, in this space, vulnerability, check out the Resilience Project. We were lucky enough to have one of the guys work with um, the Hawthorne Football Club um, over the last year. And we did some work with the Resilience Project. They've, another one of their staff has been working with Port Adelaide and he did a post last night about vulnerability and the fact that they really embraced vulnerability this year amongst the group. Um, Richmond's been strong in this space and they've probably led from the front. Ash Barty as well has been really big on this space. So a lot of elite athletes now are, are um, and leaders in different facets, whether it be CEOs, um, businesses, um, so finance or sport, anywhere where there's performance, um, we're starting to embrace vulnerability now as a strength. Um, and ultimately the easiest way to sort of think about vulnerability, if you, if you think about your closest friends or family, it's usually the little quirks that we have, that we know about each other that grows us stronger. So all the little things that not everyone knows about each other, but only those closest to you, you know, that's, that's a strong bond. And then perspective. Um, so one psychiatrist um, and a neurologist um, that has plenty of quotes, and I'll, I'll just add in a few um, to help our awareness around perspective. Uh, Viktor Frankl, who's, who was an Austrian who survived the uh, Holocaust, um, which would be an incredibly challenging thing to go through as a Holocaust prisoner. Uh, he survived it um, and then worked with a lot of patients post um, that experience. And uh, this is this is one quote that um, resonates with me, I think, with, with this year's challenges, and that is everything can be taken from a man, but one thing, the last of the human freedoms to choose um, one's attitude in any given set of circumstances to choose one's way. So ultimately, no matter what the condition, no matter what situation you're in, no one can control your attitude towards that task. So moving on to confidence. So performance confidence, one thing that we'll, we'll commonly see, and I've, I've spoken to a lot of psychologists around this, as well as um, mentors. So like Ben Crow, um, for those that listen to the podcast, he's big on, on this topic, and that is the human race more than ever. Um, we are, are quite hard on ourselves and we're very critical. Um, and it seems to be something that's getting um, worse as the years go on. Um, partly due to social media and different types of areas that we can get judged now. Um, and this, this truism is known as scarcity, which is a, a constant fear that you're not enough. So I'm sure we've all experienced this type of self-talk where you feel like I'm not training enough, I'm not sleeping enough, um, I'm not worthy. Um, so negative self-talk, it's really important to, to recognise it. So awareness is the first step with this when you when you when you're um, finding yourself uh, in this state um, and being able to flip it on its head and, and recognize that you are enough.